What's up everybody, Shoefunk here, and this is a video response to pretty much uh, Nicole BW, who actually has been showcasing my mod, my mod pack actually, and uh, I just typed in my mod pack in Google the other day, and just want to see if anybody's been posted about my pack in uh, <laughs> like other websites other than, you know, my little discussion area on the website and uh, I see that she's been showcasing it for at least four videos now it's pretty awesome um, mainly this video is being re uh, made right now because I want to respond to certain comments that I've been seeing uh, instead of me typing in I might as well make a video right so I'm reading in um, episode one Somebody says, um, how do you add mods to a mod pack? Because I tried this pack, but was but the water can for the tree growth is too slow. Okay, uh, I don't know about that. All I know is um, the watering can is not originally supposed to be spawned into your inventory at start. I only made it so that you can get it, the water can right at start just so you can help start it. As for it to help grow faster, I'll look into it uh, at least for helping out at the beginning, but I don't want to be too overpowered so you can get stuff real quick. So that's just, you know, to answer that question for you. Um, as for for Nicole actually adding the uh, mods to my mod pack, I'm fine with that. It's just um, Chisels was originally intended to be in the mod pack, and at the time, I wasn't into the mod pack to the point where I needed to worry about Chisels. And then I was looking for a particular block that I was trying to put in my base, and I couldn't find it. I was like, oh wait, that's part of Chisels and it's not installed. Why is it not installed? So in 1.4a, the mod has been added. Um, let's see here. In video number two, uh, in response to the same thing, uh, Eddie McPie was like, is a great call. Can you have wider choices of blocks? Yeah, that is correct, because like I said, I was trying to get certain looks that I wanted, and <laughs> that supply has been added. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and then lastly, in uh, episode four, uh, some person named Tomoska mentioned autonomous activators. Now, autonomous activators is in this pack, and they do work. I'm about to make one myself because what I have been doing, and I'll show you what I've been doing, is I have peaceful mode turned on, and I've got the peaceful table, and i got three of them, and they've been emptying out these chests right here one by one, and i got a few of my inventory now for demonstration, but we'll take a few more out. And, uh, that one didn't have any. What I was going to do is show you how to make it from scratch and get it to work. Now, I already went ahead and made the recipe within this crafting station right here. And the, the recipe is pretty much a vanilla ish recipe. I didn't change things radically. And there's that. Now, you will need power and at least a chest to put the stuff in. So we're going to use power that I currently have right now over here, which is uh, this furnace or furnace generator. And we can put it this right here, put the chest right in front of it. And I want to put it at least to the side so it at least doesn't open up in a weird way. I want to see it open up because it will open up. Now to get this to currently work, to work I mean, Yes, it's set up on right click, but you have to shift right click. So make sure you have not seeking set to sneaking. And it's okay, the aim level, level is at default because it's currently looking forward. 
you can have the block above it or below it. That's what the aim level is changing for, for aim ho uh, low and high, but aim level, the line is fine. Uh, this right here is just uh, saying what's the rotation of actually open up items. Um, pretty much as it feeds stuff in, it doesn't matter where it is, it'll eventually get the item. So right now it's set on right click and sneaking. And when I start putting the bags in, you'll see that it will start emptying out one by one. And you don't have to do this manually, you can automate it. But see, now all the items that I put in are now in this chest and that actually works out. So hopefully that um, helps you out with that question. Now, if there's any concerns about my bot pack, um, feel free to actually bring it up on the discussion area of the Curse website. Um, it doesn't hurt to, to tell me about certain small things I'm willing to fix. Uh, but I do again want to thank uh, Nicole for showing off my pack. It's pretty awesome that you randomly found my pack and uh, showing it off to the world. Uh, thank you very much for that. So again, this is Shifunk signing off and I'll see y'all there. Thanks for watching.